Hi, I'm Dr. John Edwards. Uh, we're going to be talking today with Merrick from One Soul Solution. Um, what we are going to be doing with these orthotics uh, that Merrick designed and, uh, and, and, and creates scans for is really innovative. He came to me to talk to me about basically from an orthopedic standpoint how to help with pregnant women in our, in our practice to help keep them uh, comfortable with their feet and their ankles. But as he explained a little bit more about the technology that he has, I started seeing a different use for them. Um, we deal with a lot of children who have neurological uh, sensitivities and uh, some of them need more input information and what he started describing to me was one potential way that we could help a whole lot of kids in ways that we've never been able to do that before. So um, what we're going to be doing with this video right now is doing a little bit of question and answer that we've been getting from some of our patients about these and uh, you can hear it from the man himself. So uh, first off, why don't you just give us a little bit about, a bit about your background and, yeah. uh, and why you do this work. Okay, um, hello. my name is Marek Sajek. I came to, uh, here three months ago from Germany um, where I did the last 18 years exactly what I what we have discussed. So um, we built um, and designed and produced different types of insoles. And one of this um, special technology and this knowledge is about the sensomotorical inserts uh, that makes possible to change a gait patterns without a, a strong force on the body. So we work with, with muscles that we address and, and the body's reaction. So you can, you can look at how people are walking and, and make a change in the orthotic so that you can tell um, you know, how to tune up certain muscles uh, or, or relax certain ones. Can you explain yeah. how that works? Exactly. Um, in each and every muscle you have receptors. These receptors are molecules that um, communicates with the central, um, yeah, you can say basically with your brain. Mm -hmm. And um, this information is for example about um, the surface you are standing on or, uh, or about the condition on your environment. And this way your brain sends uh, an information to the muscle which reacts to the different ground and surrounding. This makes it possible for you to walk uh, on a flat surface, on, on soil, on walking on stairs mm -hmm. and everything. So w when we know that the body um, and the muscles um, work so works together and sends information, we can address and, and implement new information and we do it with an insole which works like an artificial uh, ground you are walking on. Mm -hmm. So several modules on top uh, of an insole address different muscle types uh, and what we want to achieve is a tension of a muscle or um, lower tension of it. Sure. So, yeah. so what is it that you're putting in the insole that helps to stimulate those muscles? Okay. Um, it's a very simple technique that goes back to a Voita and Bordiol, which are thera um, um, physicians uh, 50 years ago they have discovered this, this um, patterns uh, that you can address different muscle groups um, with pushing on certain joints or bones mm -hmm. because there is uh, always a tendon attached to which goes to a muscle. So if we push slightly, it's not a strong push, it, 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 it is, um, it's okay to, to address it slightly, we can change how, how strong um, the tension of the muscle is. So basically we put yeah, like bumps on, on top of an insole on different points uh, when we want to address different muscles. So that's really interesting because one of the things that is unique about how you do your data capturing is that you have what looks like a flatbed scanner that someone's going to stand on and it creates a 3D image of what their foot looks like. Yeah. So that you can actually look and say, okay, well, this is where we need to put this bump right here in this orthotic based off of that analysis, yeah. right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, this is a mix. Uh, first of all, I have to see the patient. Uh, I need to check the gait and the posture. Uh, 
take a look how or he or she is walking. Uh, so this gives me the first information what could possibly uh, be wrong. The next thing is, yeah, exactly, we do a 3D scan. So this gives us the possibility to build an insole which is already attached to the foot perfectly without any additional modules. And this way, when you have this, this basic shape, we can put several modules on top of this shape and we will know, okay, because it's already a 3D base shape of the insole, we will address um, the plantar uh, shape of the food perfectly. Sure. Yeah. So the other thing that uh, I was hearing as you were describing that and tuning muscles up and tuning them down makes me think about the patients that we have who toe walk, mm -hmm. right? And also the ones when we do our test where they, they we have a test where they close their eyes and they, they march in place. Mm -hmm. But nobody stays in place. A lot. Some people go, you know, it's normal to go up to 20 inches forward, but some people go like 30 inches, 40 inches, 50 inches forward. And we've been testing some of their other parts of their brain to see if there's a brain reason for it. And some of them, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. So the only reason left that we're looking at is somehow they're miscommunicating with the ground. Yeah. And so that's the other thing that I've been thinking about is how can we improve that communication on a daily basis? Yeah. The other question that I have for you is that, again, we have a lot of children who are trying to get more information into where their body parts are. You mentioned that there's a uh, like a sensory motor component, these little molecules, these receptors that you're able to target uh, yeah. into the joints. Um, you know, one of the things that we have for a lot of our kids is the need to get more what we call proprioceptive input. Yeah. Um, where are my body parts in space? Yeah. Um, it sounds like from what you've described that for those kids, this could also be a good solution. Yeah. Would that be would that be right? Yes, that makes sense. Completely right. Yeah. Okay. So um, the, the other questions that we get, uh, there's two big questions. One is, how long should my child need to wear orthotics for, right? Mm -hmm. Is this something that they have to wear for the rest of their life, or is this a short-term thing? Uh, so what, how long uh, generally should someone expect uh, to see results? Um, it depends very much on, um, on the patient. So generally, I would say at least two years okay. to override the bad gait patterns and mm -hmm. to create new one. Um, since a child's foot grows, um, you would need one pair or at least maybe two pair a year. Okay. So, um, but after two years, we should be good, and so the new program uh, is implemented and 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 the patient should be good without it. So it's similar to like if you needed braces for your teeth. You don't have to have braces yes. for the rest of your life. Exactly. You need them in order to make the shift yeah. and then it holds that in a very, yeah. you know, fairly permanent way. Yeah. And then uh, at two ninety nine a pair, um, how do the orthotics that you make compare to what else is like commercially available? Okay. So um, commercial available inserts are the most in most cases out of the box products. Mm -hmm. So they are produced in masses for everyone, uh, regardless the problem that we have to solve. So we, we cannot compare these two worlds. That is something completely different. But what we maybe could compare is um, a custom insert you can get at podiatrist, where you have to pay between four to five hundred okay. dollar, um, which still doesn't um, have these possibilities and this technology that we use. Okay. All right, great. Uh, so those are the big questions that we usually get. Uh, we wanted to introduce you to uh, Tamarik and, and the program that he's doing, um, and we wanted to uh, invite you to go ahead and try this as well. Um, I really, for the, for the research that we do here in our office, I haven't seen anything like this for, for kids. I haven't seen anything like this to address some of the postural issues that I see as well. Um, we always get asked as chiropractors to uh, talk about orthotics and insoles and that kind of thing, but this is the first time I've ever seen something that can target specific areas of the foot to help tune up certain muscles to address problems that I've seen and just haven't had great solutions for uh, before. So I'm really thankful that, uh, that you got thank in you. contact with us and yeah, I look forward to working together. So thank you very much.